there were a few options, including reverse mohawk and shave it all off. Uh, but luckily, the red, white, and blue thing won. I think the good thing about being a viral celebrity in the context that, that I was a viral celebrity is at least you know being recognized for an accomplishment that really I, I'm very proud of, but also that it was a it was a huge team accomplishment, and it's great to show I think the rest of the world who, who maybe hadn't realized it that you know engineers and scientists look like normal people, and hopefully a few kids will will feel like they can still be themselves. And uh, and come join us, you know, on this on this awesome journey. You know, right after landing, there were a lot of weird marriage proposals, which is um, it's a strange thing to have happen to you. The emotions of landing are sort of overwhelming as it is, just because I think you know we've all worked so many years to get to that point. Uh, and so I was it was probably ill prepared for the attention and especially you know the the maybe more even explosive attention after the president kind of gave gave me a shout out, I guess. I understand there's a special Mohawk guy that's working on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> I was briefly in Sharknado 3, yeah, on the top of the space shuttle. It was a, certainly a, a surreal experience. I love B movies. Um, I just, I, you know, I, I watch a lot of like zombie movies and things like that at home. It's a surreal experience anytime you get to hang out with David Hasselhoff for a day and hear Knight Rider tales. We are evaluating and, and designing a spacecraft that will fly by Europa some 40 plus times. And what it will do is basically it will kind of go into a very large orbit around Jupiter. You can kind of imagine a racetrack uh, where, you know, you have a, a, a circle part, um, the lower, let's say one end of the, the racetrack, uh, where we'll be swinging by Europa. Uh, we'll gather a bunch of data and then we'll spend a lot of time racing away from Jupiter and Europa outside of the radiation environment at Jupiter, uh, where we will kind of send all the intense data that we gathered during that flyby back to Earth. Uh, and plan for the next encounter. And they'll happen roughly every two weeks. And in that way, we're allowed to do a mission that will last for several years at Europa, if not more, uh, and, and gather a greater variety of data than we would if we were sitting just at Europa. Europa is one of kind of an, an interesting class of, of things, which is these icy moons. Our mission can't look directly for evidence of life, but it can look for all the, the evidence for habitability, which is kind of the same question that Curiosity went to Mars to see. Well, I'd like to believe it's whales under the ice, uh, but the reality is, if anything, you know, it, it's uh, we, we're hoping to find or to confirm really a lot of evidence that indicates a, a relatively warm, uh, you know, water ocean um, that sits below the ice. And, and of course, I think a lot of us are hopeful that there might be microbial life or something else there. I also really want to work on a Venus mission. I just, as an engineer, one of the things that we really love are the how do we solve these difficult challenges. And Venus is one of the ones. Is how do you do a mission that can survive long enough in the you know in the 800 degree Fahrenheit surface of Venus um, to do useful science? Uh, so I guess that would be another one of my bucket list items. <laughs> I have not decided yet. I keep uh, thinking like what I want to do next. I'm just kind of hoping for it to go silver soon, like just naturally, so that it kind of looks like a cool silver color. It's coming in on the sides a little bit. I get a little, I get a little natural silver there. We do have a few people that work with man buns, though. Yeah, I might have to. But I will take suggestions for a Europa mission. So if people want to send in their ideas for what uh, an appropriate Europa hairstyle would be, I think that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs>